Did I have more than Yeah, dude, hold on. Wait. I know, right? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy to be here! It's so insane! <laughs> like, basically, this year is going so much better for me because, like, last year wasn't so great. Like, I didn't have a great summer in the city last year. Because, like, I won't go into it now. Like, it was a massive... No, I'm not going to start a drama this year. I'm not going to start a drama this year, okay, guys? Like, I won't go into it, but basically... Sam Pepper pushed me down some stairs. I'm just... I'm not, I'm not starting a drama. I'm not starting a drama, okay? But seriously, I've had such a great year. I did my first ever vlog. And Jack Scat liked it. Like... Jack Scat don't even know how much I love them. Like, they are my inspiration for, like, even starting YouTube because, like, basically, like, this time last year, I had rigged my entire high school to blow up. Like, I placed C4 in, like, certain structural points and the whole thing was gonna come down, like, destroying students and faculty members. But then I watched a Jack Scat video and I cheered up. <laughs> Jack Scat saved my life. Being fantastic, but the thing with 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 YouTube, the, 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 the thing with YouTube boys is like some of them have ruined my life. Like I swear to God, I can't even I can't even like look at some YouTubers now because it makes me feel like too faint and giddy and stuff. Like basically, my number one crush. Okay, three words: Troy Sivan. <laughs> like I swear to God, I love him so much that I I haven't been able to watch his last video. I am so. I no. I I am so in love with him. I love him so much. Like I've been buying baby clothes and all this kind of stuff. I just I haven't had time to watch it yet. But I'm, I know we're going to be together forever. But yeah, I've had a really great year. My Animal Crossing town is going from strength to strength. Yeah. The wanted are falling out of the charts. Fuck the wanted. But it's not actually been all that great for, like, I'm a Directioner. Did anyone see the Channel 4 Directioner documentary? Oh, I saw it. <laughs> like, that was terrible, wasn't it? Like, it made us out to all, like, look like freaks and stuff. Like, that's not fair at all. Like, so now I don't read, I, I, I don't read GQ magazine. I don't read Daily Mirror, the Daily Mirror because of what they did to the boys. Like, it's disgusting. And now I don't watch Channel 4 at all. <laughs> Apart from Big Bang Theory. <laughs> and, and Skins. Misfits and come dine with me. <laughs> deal or no deal, horse racing. News at 10, you know, but I gotta watch something, you know. But yeah. So, oh my god. <laughs> You'll never guess what Saskia said, right? <laughs> Saskia's my best friend from high school, and like, we we're on the train this morning, come to somewhere in the city from Bristol, it was like the longest trip ever with Saskia. And like, <laughs> I looked at her and I said, hey, Saskia, let's have a quick selfie. And she looked at me and she said, but Becca, we're not allowed to masturbate on trains. <laughs> Like, she didn't even know myself before. She, she thought I was so stupid. She's such a stupid bitch. I swear. But anyway, I'm here today to actually read you a chapter from my new fan fiction. Like, this is going to be the fan fiction. Like, it's got all my favourites in, okay? This is the one that's going to go down in history. As the one where... As the one where Jack went down on Dean. Are we all sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. <laughs> this is called Bummer in the City. <laughs> By Becca Hodgkins. <clears throat> I know you do, obviously. <sighs> it was a hot, sultry August evening. The first day of Summer in the City had been amazing, and all the YouTubers needed to wind down. So Benjamin Cook suggested everyone go back to his place. Just the boys, he shouted. <laughs> Just the boys. <laughs> the party at Ben's house had started with a bang, and every single hot boy ever had started dancing. All the YouTube boys were getting really close to each other as they danced. The room was throbbing with sexual energy. 
<laughs> Jack and Finn were the first to take each other's tops off. <laughs> but soon, everyone followed. It wasn't long before this gathering turned into an orgy. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the kitchen, Dan is not on fire as helping himself to some crane that Ben had placed into bowls beforehand. But suddenly, Dan knew something was wrong. Dan was choking. It must have been a Crave Biscuit. Amazing Phil knew what to do and started giving Dan the Heimlich Maneuver. Dan spat out the soggy cereal and it sailed across the room and splatted onto a carpet. Food for Louie ate it. Even though Phil had saved Dan, Phil didn't want to stop holding Dan from behind. They stood holding each other in quiet acceptance of what was going to happen next. <laughs> they both started to blush heavily as blood rushed to their faces. But that was not the only place where blood was rushing. <laughs> their cocks. <laughs> Meanwhile, crab sticks and kick the PJ. <laughs> had started kissing and they were having sex on the sofa. Like, basically, like, I don't even mess around with that shit because, like, that I just I just know that Kick the Sticks is real, do you know what I mean? Like, I just have a feeling, I have a feeling, I swear to God, like, I've watched the videos that they make with each other and the way PJ looks at Chris, like, I'm sorry, but you don't look at your best friend like that. You don't look at your best friend like that. You don't look at your best friend like that. I don't know, I don't know. Basically, I'm like Amazon, I'll ship anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just as the YouTuber orgy was starting to pick up, Casper Lee suddenly burst in. <laughs> what is going on in here? <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't do South African accents, so bear with me. <laughs> what is going on in here? There is semen everywhere. <laughs> what is going on? But he soon got into the swing of it and jumped on and started the orgy. <laughs> All of a sudden the lights went out and the house was plunged into darkness. Dean Dobbs. <laughs> Dean Dobbs blindly reached around for something to hold on to and he held something long and hard. He soon heard a familiar sound. Hello! <laughs> the lights came back on. It had been a power cut caused by Alfie Day sweating onto a fuse box. <laughs> Alfie was entangled in a fleshy sex heap with Sam Pepper, Tom Milsom, Bertie Gilbert, and Michael from Vsauce. Yeah. There was a flash of purple skin and a wild, naked, purple Charlie is so cool like appearance. <laughs> Charlie put on some One Direction and started to dance erotically for everyone in the corner of the room. And this made the whole room burst with even more sexual energy. Energy that proved too much for Neremon. <laughs> who exploded into glitter. <laughs> yeah, gets weird. Alex must have reached his maximum pleasure level. <laughs> That's when Tyler Oakley came running in. <laughs> wearing just his trainers. <laughs> By the way, I can't really do an American accent, so bear with. <laughs> what is going on in here? <laughs> Why is everyone naked? <laughs> there are boys everywhere. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> Basically, then Toiler just jumped into the middle of, of the orgy and did a collab over everyone's face. <laughs> everyone in the room was completely spent. The night had taken everyone by surprise. What happened here tonight will always be our secret, said Benjamin Cook, as all the boys lay on the floor entwined with each other half asleep. No one must know of this secret orgy ever. This is our secret. And they all fell asleep sticky. But the happiest, but the happiest they'd ever been. <laughs> it's not finished. It's not finished. It was at this 
point that Troy Sivan came in through a window. <laughs> did a poo on a coffee table and left. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> I love you so much.